Alrighty, what do we see so far? We do see a Blade Master here on Hammerfall. First to three, of course, meets Jens in the quarters. We have a Keeper on Colorful Side. No DH, even though his name for a long time is and was Race DH. It is the Keeper, a slow and steady start into the series with a lot of stability, with snipe ability and with a bit of summons. It's gonna be down to Isorg to ruin Colorful's day. Everything here looking pretty standard so far. Nice work, aggressive right out the gate. If he gets one last hit here, this will make leveling for the keeper a bit difficult. So the archer is close to going down, but rather invest the windwalk for the creep. I think I like that. All the experience being stolen here can be very valuable. No entangle yet, the grunts are safe. And. Colorful has to wait for a few hunts to come out to feel a bit more comfortable. Yeah, at the moment it's the Blade Master show with a circle on his head, little princess with a sword in her hand, his hand. And Treant's of course, a little bit of experience here as well, no deny. A little bit late for that and creeps are getting involved as well. Colorful lured them in but they don't want to stay. Yeah, the archer pulled the creeps, I think he may have Intended to creep that with Treants then for the level 2, but that didn't really work. And this is a great start so far for Isorg. Slowed down the Keeper. He's got scouts out everywhere on the map. This is a great luxury for the Orc to be in right now. Normally the Keeper gets level 2 quickly, and then the Blade is going to be the only eyes out on the map. Especially the Grunts are too afraid of the Entangle. I would say this does qualify for a great early game for us. I agree, even finds a Tomb of Agility, creeps the spot in front of Colorful's base. Love to see that. Keeper running around without getting done anything. I also don't see an AP, even though that's not usually part of Colorful's play. Might be a way to get back into this. We got a new sub, thank you Reis for the 62 month. Finals, weekend, baby, hype. Hype indeed, the first day for the World 3 Champion Season Finals is today as we kick off our two weekend affair. This is the next weekend we're gonna have the best World 3 Champions action, both for 1v1 and 2v2. And FFA! Master showing up here for the next round. Oh, and FFA, that's true. Almost made it in time to see the last hit here. That would have been perfect to prevent the Keeper from leveling up even to level 2. But uh, finally got it. Normally it's just a matter of time until the Keeper finally reaches that level. Now he's level 2, now he's got hunts, and now things are starting to look a lot better for Colof. Yeah, now you gotta play as defensively as possible. Stay away from the Keeper, otherwise your units are gonna die, but you can still get stuff done with the Shadow Hunter and first and foremost, Shaman. No road bump anywhere for Ice Orc. Grunt! Six save, okay. Yeah, I saw definitely here to play. Colorful is managing to get up a fairly quick expansion though, timing wise, here comes the Tree of Life. It's gonna have to uproot and move just a few meters to get in the right spot. And the Keeper finally is getting the experience that he so desires. He's gonna get close to level three from this camp, another green would be enough. And this is looking like a very standard by the book game so far. Trying to creep up with the Keeper, get the expansion running. Keeper hunts, Mass Expo, of course, we've seen plenty of times. And while the early game belonged to Ice Orc, Colorful can uh, get the engine really rolling here soon on Tier 2. That's right, but without level 2 Entangle or Treants, that's still a bit rough. Ice Orc not giving him anything, though. For a quick and easy level 3, he's getting actually into a position to creep jack. Or at least cause a bit of a ruckus step out in time and colorful playing a uh, more or less classic aggressive alchemist but might have second thoughts love the sentry wards here by the way colorful found them from his natural he placed it at the enemy lab he knows the general loves to go for these camps pretty strong early with uh, shaman and serpent wards is he really creeping the lab on the enemy side whoa this without shaman even Yep, this looks suicidal. I saw what you're doing, buddy. Escape with the Zeppelin? Is that even ready? What? Ah! You what? know, 
Maybe Izorg. What is this? Maybe Izorg is the one who has to work on the creep routes and the decision making. Carson is the orc player. He might have just uh, gotten a heart attack seeing this play. So risky. I think he just went to the restroom, though. I don't even know if he saw it. But that's insane. Oh, I saw it. Oh, I Level saw it. 1 Shadowhunter creeping across the map when the opponent was close by and he didn't even have Shaman yet. What was that? Yeah, Rio, what can I... terrible. I'm sorry. That was terrible. What can I tell you? I mean, I... Um, I, there will be chatters who uh, will tell us to look for a silver lining. But yeah, he has, I, I, I don't know, he got confused for a second. A couple of misclicks here and there. Uh, and how to get back from a slaughter like this from your opponent is up a base. Got the level three and a half keeper now. So confused, so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Level 1 Shadow Hunter aggression, passing the middle point of the map without shaman. What? Yeah, it was it was ambitious to say the least. Yeah. I guess you really wanted those consumables, eh? Uh-huh. Well, didn't it's all get about, them. It's, it's all about consumption. I, I guess I did get it. I got the big in the potion. Uh, unfortunately it came at a bit of a price though. One that he had to play the iron way. Oh, speaking of iron plays, losing a grunt to creeps. Man, this is a rough day for oh, I saw over here. Yeah, it started so well. And then it all went sideways. Keeper under attack. Okay, Isaac knows he needs a big play. Misses the Sasquatch. Keeper is safe. Very good usage of the owl everywhere. In the meantime, Isaac unfortunately. Uh, was overwhelmed by the creeps, at least a grunt was. Lost that one. And yo! That's, I guess, the state of the game right now. Yeah. Disastrous sequence, which is a shame. It was a really good early. Colorful had a good expansion timing, which is, of course, of crucial importance in this matchup. I think that makes this map pretty good for a Keeper expansion in general. The fact that the natural here is pretty damn easy to creep compared to some other maps. Raider also way ahead of the pack. Might not be able to save that one. Ooh, I see what he looks a bit tilted, eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, can't blame him. His greedy creep route didn't necessarily work too Life. well. Gets a good save out. I guess there's no owl anymore. Colorful venturing out into archers, which is fine against the upcoming level 2 serpent wars, but this blade can't fight anything. It's just kind of a straight up slaughter right now. We're close to a 20 supply lead. <laughs> blade Master flirting with danger. Always the high wire act hero. Oh, and there he's dead. Oh, you know, and that is game. Oh, G G. That and was a game. That was that was a game, you guys. That was okay. that was a game. I said he was gonna play an orthodox, and boy was I right. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That was pretty <laughs> unorthodox. Uh, the creep route. I I I. Um. Okay. Um, happens to the best this was a warm-up game for ice orc if i ever saw one and hammerfall was not the map he wanted to play on apparently new game new map we forget game one ever happened yep. best of three who cares Never happened. that's that's what you have to look at it if you're ice orc yeah, interestingly, his map pick for the next one is Tidehunters, which is normally considered a bad map for Orc, one that most Orcs would veto. But I guess his vetoes were uh, used up quickly. They vetoed the uh, non-standard maps pretty fast. Ruins of Achara, Rune Mall, Shallow Grave, Springtime. Many, especially Asian players, still not so familiar with these ones. So we're going to have AL and Tidehunters still in the pool, which were never really considered that good for Orc in the first place. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pumpman7 for the Prime. <laughs> Funny interaction in the chat. Hawk is asking who Jens is. Uh, and 
obviously people tell it to him, and T.S. York chimes in, Hawk, you lost against him on ladder. <laughs> so. I do think he has a couple of, I think he has a couple of accounts, to be fair, on ladder. Uh, I can't remember what his, his Smurf is, but he does have, he does have a couple. Well, he is our first quarterfinalist, if that helps. Uh, Jens is Jens. Look up the stats and... Remember the name. Remember the name, remember the game. We got a 1-0 lead for Colorful. Let's not remember the first game. Let's just say it's a fresh start with a little bit of a penalty for Ice Orc. It was uh, quite brutal, but hopefully Ice Orc will recover. I don't know, should an Ice Orc warm up? Because then he's not an Ice Orc anymore. Maybe it's going to be less Ice and more Orc. We're going to need some more Ferocity here on map too, that's for sure. Well, maybe not just Ferocity though, maybe also Patience and Carefulness. I still what? can't believe that, Creeper out, dude. <laughs> Level 1 Shadow Hunter with three grunts runs across the entire map into the waiting arms of the Keeper. Yes. Do you guys remember? I remember. That blew I my mind, bro. What was that? I heard that patience uh, is a virtue, among other things. And yeah, um, um, let's see. Is there a reason he picks tight hunters? Is it time for something special? I see two peons moving out. It should just be one for scouting and one for the shop. It doesn't have to be something wild. It could just be blade master creeping, scouting around, slow down the keeper. Go for a counter expansion later. Problem is, lots of green camps on this map. Normally the keeper easily gets level three. It's very hard to control him here. And also, this is perhaps the biggest issue, the natural is stupid easy to creep. With just one or two hunts, you can creep this natural super easily and then expand right away if you wish, where at the very early state of the game, the orc has no way of keeping up with the keeper a hunter's threat. These are the main reasons why orcs normally tend to dislike this map in this matchup, but Ice Orc chose it as his battleground, so he has made his bed. Alrighty, with a couple of fresh items at the start, with a couple of good timings, with a bit of delay on the Keeper, things might be doable even though this map doesn't necessarily favor him. Uh, we had 13 maps in the pool and this is his loser's choice, so there's gotta be reasons why he picks this one shop up first item is a bit more mana which is not that bad but colorful pretty efficient looking good hunter's hall coming up same strategy as before a clean game so far by colorful but i was staring at the ancient of war and he almost denied two of the creeps but almost doesn't count so he got full experience and he got the level two now nice and early way earlier then on map number one, while the Blade Master is creeping in the north, solo against the creep camp with standing inside of Watcher Elemental, that's choice, and kind of struggling against this Magi right here. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. No. Don't do it. No. 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 Oh. Oh. Wasn't even close, bro. Well. And he gets out. We told him to improve his creep routes and he absolutely did high wire artist that was oh, dude imagine the keeper turns out kills the blade gets the ogre gets the item <laughs> that would have been the greatest disaster possible but he survived scroll of the beast not the item he was hoping for i guess but a good chunk of xp yeah, I started saying to himself, you guys thought you saw me creeping greedy? Boy, let me show you something right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, what is yet to come? For Colorful, nothing really changes, right? It can still go for the natural, creep up slowly and steady. If things go the N normal way, Colorful should always be ahead with this, and it's Ice Orc who has to come up with solutions to the Expo Mass Tier 1. I'm kind of surprised that Colorful Proxy expanded. On this map, it's so easy to expand on the spot. Maybe could have instead teched faster. 
But it is still a good experience for him. Keeper almost level three already. He's got some sick items, by the way. Hallelujah. Ooh. Yo, that's correct. Double claw mantle and a bit of HP as well, which is never bad against an orc who likes to go for hero focus -y. Blade. Big play here. Staff onto the mirror image. And he might have the damage to actually take out this tree. Can cause... Wait, didn't use the mirror image again. Yeah, that's Okay, odd. look close. Seemed like he almost had that tree of life, but no. It will finish. Repair will be ready soon. And that won't be a cancel. Keeper stays at home. Close to level 3 again. Similar to what we've seen on Hammerfall. Beastery and Lodge for Shaman. Hopefully he waits a little bit, but yeah, the creep route looks way more passive, way less dangerous. Definitely a better game already for Isaac. I hope he just goes to the enemy lab right away. Creep that first. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah, let's, let's maybe not do that. Let's be reasonable for one map. I'm very curious if the Shadowhunter is going to be sent. I will have my eyes peeled. Tree of Life now on his journey to the new home. He's going to build a second base at the gold mine. Alrighty, so far we don't even have a second engine of war, right? Or am I missing that? I don't think so. Keeper's also forced into a town portal because Hex was here. I so far like what I see from the Ice Orc perspective, even though the shop goes down. That's a bit of a nuisance, but apart from that, it's okay. Yeah, the Blade Master can keep pressure on the Tree of Life, be annoying against the Entangled, buy more time, and then normally that uh, points towards a counter expansion. But we don't have that yet. I like that we see the Wyvern, always a good damage boost, kinda hard to reach unless you get the arches early out. So the right adjustments and a simple creep route, I'd say, doesn't give the Alchemist too much of an opening. And Colorful needs to step back a little, let his tree grow. But yeah, I'm a bit worried about the production. It seems a bit late all. Calvo's gonna be firing up the ovens real soon. The industry of war will be in full swing. Isn't that With dangerous? One upgrade the Huntresses. He's gonna be quite strong on them. Late Master can't really hope to get a cancel here. I like the adjustment by Calvo. He's got one Keeper and a Huntress here. That is enough to force the Blade away. Shadowhunter, though, was nicely creeping this time. Thank God. He got the levels first, and then it's gonna be time to tango. Should keep the ovens away from the trees, though. Otherwise, he's burning his production buildings down. We don't want that. Probably safe and sound in the Hunter's Hall. But all right, second engine of war up. We're going to grind up to 60, 70 food in no time. And Alchemist level three. That's fast progress on the second hero. Colorful there was not mining for a little bit, maybe like half a minute or so lost of mining time. But now the wisps are going to be jumping inside, get nice and cozy, get back to work. And the question is, when are we going to go into upkeep? Currently just 50 supply on Colorful, but good levels, good upgrades. Same can be said though for the orc. At 50 supply, when both are at that point, orc is normally seen as favored. And the first fight breaks out. Blake Master in the back line, trying to go for the archers. The Wyvern was baiting the shots. Level 2 mirror image, by the way, against which Wisps need to be ready for the detonate. And Decent Dispel was utilized there right away. Blake Master is very tanky, by the way. Ooh, this is a great build for mirror image. But the detonates are on point. They are very expensive, though. Wisps don't come for free. Sick and quick hex against the heal spray. Ice Orc clearly online now, killing some hunts. Solid trades. But he needs these good uh, trades because he's still down a base and there's no counter expansion on the back of this fight. 
Yeah, which is somewhat surprising, right? With the level 3 Shadowhunter timing, you know you're gonna have a strong engagement at least for a good while. Behind that, you normally expand, but that is not the case. It's 700 gold! That is not spent by Ice Orc. You have to go either counter expansion or go all in, but if you go all in, you bring the peons, you make towers, you make a shop. But this is the worst of both worlds right now. Yeah. He's probably preparing something that's not on our mind. Falling back you a little bit. fall back to the shop. He's got all the gold now to go for the heal scrolls, invulns. I love this Blade Master inventory, dude. He is such a beefcake. All the 900 HP, bonus armor, mirror images can soon be used again. Is that your favorite kind of cake? Of course it is, Neo. Yeah. Lecker poulette. Mm, <laughs> so good. <laughs> with, a, with a brötchen and some zenf, yes? And you're just the best. Sing me something. But Thank you for the prime. But? Icehawk's falling back, giving Cutterfall a lot more time. Cutterfall also scouting well with a wisp across the map, sees the tower coming here. Cutterfall should know he has some time right now to breathe. Let's build a big army now. 60 supply for him. Upgrades, of course, still good. The one thing that's missing for Cutterfall is the scrolls, which is annoying because you kind of need scrolls with this kind of a mass army. It's ready in five seconds. If our overlay is coded correctly. Now. There we go. It is coded correctly. Shout out to Chris. So, Shadowhunter level 4 is getting somewhat dangerous. Defend upgrade level 1, I like. Heal ward doing quite a lot of uh, healing, as the name suggests, as all the melee units are getting hurt from the spikes on the turtles. But Colorful says, okay, we had a lot of fun here on Tide Hunters. Uh, it's time to end this now. Yeah, he's got a pretty good looking army here. He's got the one healed scroll, decent levels, but I think back at home, Isaac might be able to hold. Really? The dual yeah. hero for the orc is really strong right now. At 50 supply, as mentioned before, the orc army is very, very potent, or at least cost efficient. If he's staring down a huge night elf army, things might still get difficult, but not all the reinforcements are here yet. There's still some hunts stuck back at home. More upgrades still coming. The proper. Uh, the archer backline looks so safe, colorful. What he does best in this matchup, always wisps here, always the floods, always the detonates. Doesn't hit the backline too much, so there's still hurt and there's still a lightning shield, but damage is done already, I feel. Blade Master, only level 3, doesn't have the damage output without critical strike. And does he even have enough healing with this 1-2-1 one -one build? Level heal wave is definitely a problem here. Heal ward in the back does help for a little bit, but not for too long. That one will be sniped as well. Blade in trouble now. Invuln is there. There's just so much Knight of Army left, and if the blade doesn't die, then other units will. Shaman about to drop. Serpent wards also could be picked apart one by one. There was a nice little line of a Serpent Wards wall right there. Good damage output, but very frail as we see. All the Serpent Wards go down. More experience for the Knight of the Blade Master in trouble. Who purge. Saves him last second. But Colorful now in full control, knowing that his opponent doesn't have a counter expansion. Colorful knows he is greatly, greatly favored. Twice the supply is a solid lead, I would say. Also twice the income. Uh, not twice the levels, but you know, it's not looking great for Ice Orc. Kind of shock frosted here after this fight. Can just run. And that's about it. The tower was up at the expo, but didn't have the concrete upgrade, so it was wiped in seconds. And now how to find an opening against a player so solid as colorful. Yeah, I saw uh, missed his timing here, Kai. We had a great fight when we were both 50 versus 50, and he had the level 3 heroes. And it's just super standard then, at that point, to counter-expand. He had the gold, get 700. Very, very weird that he didn't try for it. He tried then later, but that was quite simply too late. We're gonna re-engage one more time. Blade Master shows up. Oh, he's got the dust and the heal scroll. That's a big deal here, actually. Could get quite a few more kills. Colorful is suffering losses, but so is Ice Orc. And Ice Orc can't really replace them as well as Colorful can. It is GG. And the 2-0. 
better. Better. Slow and steady progression. Okay, trackable, steady progression. He made it to, what, 7 minutes in Game 1, 14 minutes in Game 2, maybe 21 minutes in Game 3. But, um, yeah, a weird creep out again, but then a pretty good fight like you just mentioned, Rima. It was literally just no counter expo. Like, he just didn't build a Great Hall. Just, just didn't build it. That's that's. He would have probably been in a pretty even position if he just, just built the Great Hall. Build the Great Hall when you have the gold. Just build it right away. That's That's all you needed to do. Pretty simple. This game's not that hard. If it's so easy, Carson, why aren't you playing don't you in the War 3 it? Champions Finals? <laughs> there it why don't you do why it? Why don't you why just, don't do, you it? just do it? Dude? Yeah, should we swap you in if it's so easy, Carson? Look at the cast are criticizing the professional player. <laughs> Go ahead, chat. Say it. Go ahead. <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> yeah, big. That was one. One noticeably large mistake amongst a bunch of other mistakes of course but the one noticeably large mistake uh obviously is that great all yeah that was certainly a problem and with that we end up with a 2-0 lead colorful is one map away from facing jens in the quarterfinal ice orc a little uninspired as well like I mean, okay, maybe his creep route on map one was very inspired and a bit too inspired by whatever. Um, but yo, he's with us back against the ropes now. And hey, he built, a, he built a witch doctor last game, though. He's innovating. He built a witch doctor. It okay. died right away after placing one ward that got killed because there was a sentinel on a tree, but <laughs> built a witch doctor. <laughs> he's innovating. I for the details. I didn't even see that with Chakra <laughs> at all, not gonna lie. It was but dead Carson, immediately. <laughs> but Remo, I didn't see it either. Maybe Carson just imagining things. Yeah, I do that. that. Yeah. I do that. He's making stuff up right now. Yeah. Yeah. Can we trust the Canadian? He's been, he's been living in a tour bus for too long. He hasn't right? seen the outside world in months. <laughs> I just got out of the institution. That's where I was. I wasn't on tour or anything. I just made up the whole band. <laughs> <laughs> Next week you're gonna start a fight club. <laughs> I have lots of uh, imaginary adventures. His name is Robert Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. <laughs> What's the well, solution um, for Isoc now, Carson, if you're so smart and know everything? Just build Field it. Hill is a good map. Rima Demo, correctly stated, Tidehunter is not the greatest map against especially colorful style. Concealed Hill is a good map. It's a good map. It's large. You can have a pretty clean level 3 Shadow Hunter if you can creep your expansion. That's really the toughest part of the game. But it just sort of flows pretty well for the orc. If Ice Orc wants to go for these fast level three blade creep routes, which are a little bit weird, it's not the greatest map for that. But if he just plays it straight up standard, Conceal is a much better map than the last. So there's his hope. Fingers crossed, everybody. We got three match points for Colorful. And it looked really good. Again, the thing he doesn't have to work on is the Wisp detonates. Chat is pointing it out as well. That looked yeah, right. incredible. He was so fast with him, dude. That was like lightning quick. Kaboom. Yeah, it kind of starts with always having the right amount of Wisps and having them in the right position. That's not that easy to do, even though it sounds very, very similar. Uh, very, very silly. And then, as you mentioned, man, super quick, super efficient. Well done, Colorful. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Mirror Image, so going for a Mirror Image build, I think is really cool. But is it the best? Is it the strongest? Is it the most potency build you can go for? Just one point Mirror Image might be the better choice. You can still get out of Entangle, get out of, a, out of a hairy situation, but you don't get punished so hard by Detonate. And I would say most orgs still play only one point in Mirror Image. Um, but not Ice Orc, he had two points in it, which is understandable as well. This blade was so tanky. Thinking back to those items, he had double circlet and ring of protection and periapt. He was a, like I said, beefcake. But uh, wisps ate that cake for breakfast. Does a beefcake also have candles on top? If it's a birthday beefcake, sure. <laughs> oh my God, disgusting. Okay, uh, but no cream, right? Ah, uh, no, it's just uh, more fat and grease. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the grease cream. Blah! Put it in the put it in the fryer. Fry for twenty minutes. Delicious. Or the blender. It's all the same at the end. Yeah, good. We're not doing any f food or cooking uh, content here. 
Well, I do all my cooking with uh, HelloFresh. They are amazing. If you guys want to enjoy that as well, consider. That. Dude, my second box I skipped, but now th this this week it's back again. It's such a change in my nutrition and lifestyle. It's it's uh, it is a great improvement. Exclamation mark! HelloFresh. Keep it once again. Wait. Oof, I almost thought you'd deny two of the creeps, but I uh, didn't finish the camp yet. Gotta make sure not to deny. Very important. You want to get the level ups and get them here well. Oh my god, sick items again. He got claws and mantle earlier already. These are so damn good for the early game. In my opinion, mantles. OP. Late Master gonna get his circlet here. And we'll also look for a few more creep kills. On the other side, Blade Master has a circlet and gloves. A little bit more damage. Oh, colorful. Blade Master got it, though. Was a weird damage threshold here. Uh, not that easy to get for the Keeper. But level 2 is fine enough. You got the Treants, you got the Entangle, you can roam around. He's just living his life as a free spirit, as all Night Elves should. Yeah, the first game, first two games, we saw pretty straightforward Keeper Hunts Expo. And I would say that makes a lot of sense also on those maps. It's easy to expand on. Concealed Hill is pretty damn tough to expand on, man. This gold mine, not easy to creep. You can't just creep it early with a couple of treants and two hunts. You need more. A creep jack potential is big there, which is a big reason why lately on this map, we've been seeing lots of night elves uh, not go for the expansion, but rather go keeper into bears. Keeper mm. first, demon second, bears, and tier three. Because that puts the orc in a weird spot. If it's keeper first, you kind of have to play shaman because you need the the spell. Um, but then having shaman later against bears isn't ideal. So this is, I think, a pretty solid strategy the knives can go for on this map. And colorful loves the bears, we know. But so far, we see hunts, we see attack progressing. Still no expo yet. And I think uh, the expo time has kind of come and gone, right? If he wanted to expand, he should have done it earlier, probably before the third Huntress. So this, I would say, is looking a lot like bears. It's going to be up to Ice Orc to identify this. He's got the Peon Scout in the north, and that one has seen no Tree of Life for a long time. So he may not necessarily know it exactly, but <laughs> might have a good idea. All right, does that favor Isorg not exposed to the tier, mass tier one? Maybe in a straight up fight, one base, one base against Dryad Bears, he shines a little bit. Definitely shining after that Tome of Agility here. Colorful keeps on creeping and feels like he's luring around for yet another attack on the Shadow Hunter creeping. Kind of a classic concealed hill early game. Keeper in, or the Night Elf rather, in different spots at the same time on the map. Holy crap, these keeper items. <laughs> Looking real good. And that is level three here with the keeper taking out the trapper. Very hard for orc to prevent keeper level three. You really gotta be super on point. Most orcs try to not prevent keeper three, but just allow it and get progress on your own Blade Master at the same time. Blade is level 2.3, not too bad. Items are okay, but I think this Keeper is looking more impressive. Oh yeah, with these items for sure. Continue creeping though, no early creep jack. Just slowly but steady taking XP off the side of Ice Orc, who's trying to do the same, gets an Archer for his efforts, is finishing this little green, but Colorful just more efficient. Yeah, way more. Taking away the one creep cam, what does the Shadow Hunter have? So far he got the rest of the green, but with a Hex first, he's looking for more kills. Got an Archer, gonna get the Huntress here now. Hex very good at this point in the game, will be falling off later though. And Colorful going for the base attack. Keeper and a bunch of Treants going towards the Burrows, which... Sork isn't responding to really at the Very little repair only now. Is it enough? He got the resources. Dude, the okay. claws and the mantle. Oof. The damage is so imba. And more treants. And that is pretty annoying. 
Yeah, this is not a time in a game where you want to be supply blocked. Not at all. You gotta get ready for 50. Colorful is already quite scary with like 34 food. Now Dryads are coming in for more control and soon to spell. And what do you have against that? A Wyvern and a Shaman. It's pathetic. Now the Ice Bomb Peons, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That was good. You know me. to cost a lot of health as well. Colorful though. I wonder if you can heal up all of this damage that he took on the heroes. Treants will be dealt with now, but one more round of Treants and the Peons could result in a lot of kills. Oh, I think he's fine. He wasn't home for a long time, so Moon Juice should be grand. There is crit, but it's only a crit for 86, so... Yeah, damage-wise, Colorful did a lot more. He got the better levels. Um... I, it's not over anything, but Colorful is barely making any mistakes. Maybe a bit of positioning on Archer and Hunt, but it's fine. Perfect sentry ward here as well. Saw the Blade Master approaching. No chance for a steal. Alchemist gets the one of mana stealing. Speaking of which, and gonna get level two here. With this Dryad build, I think mostly we don't see heal spray, but rather a chemical rage. The right click build. And then you play high tempo with the Dryads. Get upgrades, try to take a supply lead, get scrolls as well, and then keep fighting against an orc who you hope has low hero levels. That's looking like it. Shadowhunter's still quite a bit away from level three. Where do you go? The shop has been crapped after the disaster on Hammerfall. Do you really want to go for a greedy creep spot when you know that the Dryads are here and take the control away? Ice Orc between a rock and a hard place and getting closer to elimination. Yeah, absolutely. Colorful has played himself into a really good spot. And now he's got a strong army, perfectly spent all of his money. Is he going to try to win the game right here? Or is he going to use this as a springboard to get further ahead? I could also see him trying to expand behind this because this is not going to be an easy push to hold on to. Shadowhunter. Oh, caught outside the main. Almost getting blocks, trying to get back to the main base with a hex on the Alchemist, whose right clicks, by the way, hurt quite a bit. Right on, he might use as a springboard into the quarter final. Blade Master is back trying to save the day, but the levels are just abysmal. Colorful. We talk about a cake, but he had a way bigger slice of the concealed hill cake. Falling back now, trying to not overreach and give away the lead that he has worked so meticulously to get. Pipping now in the middle, the Ancient of War here nicely got into position. Gonna get the next big item. Reveal is always there. The Blade Master is being given no quarter. Foot of Cunning is okay. And this could be an expansion position, maybe for Colorful. He's got the resources for it. Alright. In the in the middle? That's quite a statement. Colorful, usually not a player where I'd expect he's doing shenanigans like this, but whatever works, works. Does a demolisher work against Dryads, Mr. Rimodimo? Because we got one. Uh, in theory, it could also work very well with Ensnare, by the way. Given some of course, can't walk. There are, in theory, lots of counters to these Dryads. We have uh, demolishers, we have the Serpent Boards, we have the Wyvern as well. But the superior numbers still seem to be on the Knight of Sight. About a 10 supply lead here for Colorful's pressing on. Alchemist in the front, pretty squishy by the way, doesn't have rings, and needs to go for the Invuln. It was ready just in time to save him. Dryads swarming from every angle, taking out the Wyvern right away. Heavy losses though, on both sides. Isorf might be able to fight his way back. Without the oh. Shadowhunter, I kinda doubt that. Spreads the legs far and wide, supply-wise. It's uh, a solid lead. Alchemist. Still there. Acid Bomb takes out the Catapult as well. So that was fine. Man, what a slaughter. Um, in the end, there is a Blade Master. There is a half, one and a half grunts. But Colorful wants to retreat. Maybe to the fountain. It is nighttime for some free healing on these Dryads and then just push again. It's like this would be the perfect time to go tier 3. For Colorful. He's got the resources, even if he's not going to have that many bears. If he has Dryads, that's still uh, an op of Venom that he can always go for. More upgrades from the Hunter's Hall, maybe. But Colorful is saving his gold for now. That's what I meant earlier. Colorful 
played his way into a really good position. He got ahead, but what's he actually doing with his lead? He hasn't been able to close out the game yet. So you're saying he should improve on his late game plan? It's, it's difficult to say, like, uh, it's very hard to make that right call always to do the best possible with your lead. See that Colorful is weighing his options. He's still saving his gold, creeping up now a bit more. Belt, not bad for the Alchemist. And we're nicely able to heal all the Dryads up from the Alchemist, which also means we have tons of Moonders. Oh yeah. Not even Super Wells, because lack of tier 3, but still all filled to the brim. Apart from that, consumable-wise, we got an Invo Potion and a big Mana Potion on Ice Orc's side. Nothing really to fight with, with for Colorful. There might be a chance with Home Turf Advantage, faster reinforcements, but no additional demo. I feel like that demo did a good job. Put in some decent damage. Colorful has now spent his gold. It was double heal scroll to try to take the next fight. Good scout on the Shadow Hunter. Saw this attack coming in early. The level seems to be kind of lacking. Seems like at this point in the game, both Orcures are supposed to be level 4. But they are a bit behind that. Speed scroll used trying to reposition. Kodo Beast is now in the mix as well. But good to spell on the Kodo. Oh, and the target fire from the Dryads. Takes out that Kodo real quick. Both the bonus we have no heal wave. It's only Hex. Which is now pretty much useless. Incredible still taking the trades. Serpent Wards almost in position, but now with all the attention from a whole concave of Dryad. Is there something like a whole concave? I don't know. Um, the Serpent Wards have been eliminated. Isoc going for the Keeper. This must work, but against the Heal Scroll, it doesn't. The Blade hits the deck, and I can only see. Another 3-0 here. If this doesn't work, it doesn't. Heal scroll was there for the second time. Good escape. Colorful just uh, not making the mistakes that Ice Orc was hoping he would do. And we get an Idol of Mirror in the quarterfinal. Colorful is up against Jens. Oh yeah, and that's exciting. This series maybe not so much, but the prospect of seeing Jens, who's on a hot streak now, on a what? A 25 and 0, according to us. Streak go up against Colorful is quite nice. Uh, nice try to Ice Orc. I feel like if you could play Colorful maybe 20 more times, S slow progression, steady, steady, steady. He maybe would start taking some maps, but uh, just a little too sloppy, a few too many mistakes through and through, but still cool to see an Orc player, if only for three games.